Bible language major uh, at Northland to do another six years of study. Almost every year included uh, Hebrew and Greek. So uh, I've done a lot of that study and because of that I kind of have a passion for the languages and want to see that incorporated into uh, Kenyan pastors and Kenyan nationals. So that's actually going to be something that is going to be a major facet of our ministry. We hope to train Kenyan pastors and my specific uh, area of expertise in that training will be, uh, will be the languages. Three things just to help you uh, maybe pegs on which to hang all the information that's in this presentation. Uh, we plan to be doing evangelism, church planting, and leadership training. And it's kind of a cycle. Once you get to that leadership training area, you have trained people who can then do evangelism, who can then plant churches, and eventually our goal in 30 years is to have Kenyans, teaching Kenyans, Greek, Hebrew, expository preaching like you hear in this church, and uh, in-depth theology like we heard uh, on the, um, the book of Revelation, the book of Daniel in the last hour. That kind of thing is what we want to equip Kenyan national pastors to be able to do. So that'll be a major facet of our ministry. The root of Jesse will spring up, one who arises to rule over the nations, and the Gentiles will set their hope on him. Roughly the same size as Texas, Kenya is home to 10 major tribal groups and a host of other domestic and foreign peoples, nearly 38 million souls in all. With a climate ranging from desert to temperate to tropical coast, Kenya is a land of never-ending variety. Worldwide, Kenya is famous for its beautiful landscapes, its amazing wildlife, and its Olympic track champions. Situated as a hub of East African nations such as Tanzania, Somalia, and Uganda, and blessed with prime coastland and a relatively stable economy, Kenya has become a center for trade and culture for the region. But HIV AIDS has had a drastic effect on the population demographics of the country. One out of every 15 adults is infected with HIV AIDS. Only 55% of the population of Kenya is over the age of 15. To compare, the median age in the United States is 37. In Kenya, it is 18. This tragedy makes it all the more urgent to develop the next Kenyan generation for carrying out Christ's commission. Do not be afraid. Keep speaking. Do not be silent. For I am with you and I have many people in this city. We will base our ministry near the strategic city of Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. Nairobi is the largest city in East Africa, and the fourth largest in Africa, boasting a metropolitan population of four million. Nairobi is one of few world-class African cities, and it acts as a headquarters for politics, business, government, and culture for the region. People from all around Kenya, Uganda, Sudan, Somalia, and Ethiopia are migrating to this city with hopes of political security, steady work, food, and a few marginal comforts. Nairobi is an example of the dramatic contrast between the first world and the third world, where material wealth coexists in an uneasy relationship with great poverty. 50% of Nairobi's population lives in slum conditions that cover only 5% of the city area. 40% of all Kenyans do not have consistent work. Individual local churches find it difficult to reach this large geographical area within the city of 4 million souls because so many people are unable to afford vehicles of their own for travel. The obvious solution of planting more churches in the city presents its own challenges. One perennial challenge to urban ministry in a setting like Nairobi is that overcrowded third world living conditions exist alongside first world real estate prices. Another challenge is finding faithful men who are qualified to take the reins of new church planting projects. 
Missions in Nairobi has reached a stage of critical strategic crossroads. For generations, missionaries from the West have been planting churches and training individual pastors to lead them. However, in this city of great potential, we have identified a network of faithful, Bible-centered Kenyan pastors and church leaders who sense that they are inadequately equipped to train the next generation of their leaders. The time is ripe for a final push toward completing the foreign missionary work in this city. A final push toward having Kenyans reach Kenyans and the world with the glorious gospel of Christ. It's time to pass the baton. We are ambassadors for Christ as though God were making his appeal through us. We plead with you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Jenny and Jeremy grew up in Bible-believing homes and faithful Baptist churches, Jenny in New York and Jeremy in Texas. Coming to know the Lord at early ages, they both began considering foreign missions work in high school. After meeting at Bible College, our friendship grew as we served together in a local church and on a summer missions team. After each of us had finished our undergraduate work in Hebrew and Greek, we were married and joined Intercity Baptist Church, our home and sending church. Since then, we have been serving together there as Jeremy completed his seminary education. In 2006 and in 2009, the Lord granted us additions to our family, entrusting us with raising Josiah and Jonas for his glory. We believe that God has uniquely prepared and gifted us to partner with this team in seizing the opportunity to train Kenyans for foreign and domestic ministry. The things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be qualified to teach others. Our mission is to equip Kenyans to reach Kenyans and the world for Christ. That process begins and it will always involve personally actively proclaiming the gospel and reaching the lost in Kenya. We will also partner with young Kenyan church leaders to organize new believers into independent congregations that are not artificial reproductions of American churches. We want the churches we plant to be both thoroughly biblical and obviously Kenyan. Finally, we will seek to establish a church-supported graduate-level seminary for equipping pastors. Our goal is that in 30 years, Kenyans will be teaching Kenyans Greek, Hebrew, in-depth theology, and expository preaching. This is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles to bring salvation to the ends of the earth. To meet our goals, we will have the privilege to implement a team philosophy of missions, partnering with experienced Kenyan missionaries, Joel and Marianne Weaver, other like-minded missionaries, as well as Kenyan nationals. We plan to base our evangelism and church planting operations on the growing southeast side of Nairobi. There, we will partner with young nationals, training them one-on-one, -on -one as we pass the new churches into their hands. Modular theological education will also be a major aspect of our ministry. Our network of pastors in Kenya are not able to adequately train young men to pastor their churches, so we plan to organize block classes and conferences for those who are already in ministry, equipping them to pass on to faithful men the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Finally, we will implement a residential theological education program. Our efforts to train the next generation of Baptist pastors in Kenya is greatly benefited by 100 acres of mission land, which Grace Baptist Mission possesses on the southeast side of Nairobi, immediately adjacent to the only trans-African highway between Nairobi and the port city of Mombasa. This prime property will allow us to provide a home base on which to host a residential graduate school. This property will at the same time keep us close enough to the city to establish new churches and to further equip current pastors. Everything we do will be concerned with enabling these Kenyan churches to reach Kenya, East Africa, and the nations for the sake of Christ's name. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. 
come into his presence with joyful song. Our plan for me.